Um, hi, my name is Macon Reed, and I'm from New Orleans in the United States, and I identify as a genderqueer um, artist, and I work mostly in interdisciplinary projects, so I combine sort of a sculptural um, installation environment and then do a bunch of public programming inside to bring the community together. Hi, my name is Catherine Woolley, and I work in curatorial and public engagement at UNSW Galleries, and I've had the privilege of working with Macon um, on Eulogy for the Dyke Bar in the public programming and community engagement component. Um, I identify as a bisexual queer woman. The installation is a collaboration between um, the University of New South Wales Galleries and the National Art School. So um, it's at National Art School, and it's actually in their old cafe. They let us sort of tran transform it into a, a dyke bar. So when you walk in, um, it's a, it's a really brightly colored installation. We've got this amazing like hot pink um, and purple wood paneling that we hand painted on the wall, and you'll see um, a full bar, um, benches for people to sit, and then there's a pool table. Um, and importantly, also when you are walking through the space, there's this amazing wall of archival images from Sydney Dyke Bar history. So I worked with the amazing people at UNSW to go through the archives and and find these um, party flyers and um, just documents from Sydney's amazing history because I've done the project I think six times in the United States and this is the first time really getting to do it in another country and full with the programming and it felt so important to have Sydney's history represented instead of you know from the US so um, yeah that's what you find when you walk into the space. But actually the main thing that sort of drove the project was the fact that I couldn't find any. So I'd, I'd moved to Chicago and, um, you know, Chicago is an amazing queer community, but the, the neighborhood there, the queer neighborhood, is called Boys Town. There are no dyke bars at all, and I found myself, you know, just aching for those spaces, you know, and, and being surprised that I couldn't find them. And then, you know, I started asking people, well, why, why are there no more dyke bars? Like, what's, what's up with this? And what consistently came across to me were all of these stereotypes about like, you know, that dykes don't want to um, cruise or have sex or go to parties as much. We kind of just want to stay at home drinking tea with our cats. And I was like, there's no problem. Like drinking tea with your cats is great. That's, you know, also a good thing. But I was, I started saying like, well, is that really the case? Because like, I want to cruise and I want to go out and I want to dance. And last night we had a soft opening of the space um, with a big queer contemporary show at NAS and there were all these dykey people hanging out in front of the bar and it made me so happy, so you know? Beautiful. been really wonderful um, we've worked really collaboratively on this yeah. program um, together with um, Sean McIntyre and Sarah Hibbs from National Art School as well yeah. and drawing out yeah members that have been on the scene a part of Sydney's um, queer community and dark histories and we didn't really want to give anybody a brief necessarily or be really yeah. precise about we wanted to ask them to do essentially we went to them and asked you know what would your dream dark yeah. bar or queer yeah. space look like yeah um, so it's been yeah a really beautiful collaborative process hearing all of those ideas so the installation will be um, open for people just to come in and view, play a game of pool, um, look at the archival material between 9 to 5, Monday to Saturday. Yeah. And then we'll be activating the bar from 5 to 10 p.m. Tuesday to Friday. So yeah. the 17th of February until the 4th of March. Mm -hmm.